Hello, my fellow geologists. My name is Gio. And, nagi- <laughs> okay, nag-iisip na ako ng bagong ibang intro ko kasi hindi na lang BL yung inireactan ko ngayon. So, now we have P-pop, BL, and even K-pop sometimes. So, I don't know, can I just say hi? <laughs> Ang tagal na natin hindi nagkita-kita, guys. I haven't uploaded for like two weeks siguro or three weeks. So, for this video... Ayusin nga natin yung intro. Hello everyone, my name is Gio. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's good to have you guys back. And for this episode, for this episode, for this video, we will be reacting to PGYO style vlog. So I actually don't know if this is like an actual serious like explanation of their concept of their of their style in the lights music video. Um, their clothes because I know I've seen on Twitter and I know I am very late so I really apologize I have deprived myself too long <laughs> of BGYO content and now I am making up for it so please bear with me guys I will be I will be making more BGYO content because I really really want to know them more and I want to support them as well so yon um I don't really know if this is like a serious vlog or like just them being chaotic again which I don't mind at all I really don't mind so ayon because I saw a tweet on Twitter before. Siyempre, tweet on Twitter. Saan ka pa makikita ng anime? <laughs> their, their clothes, their costumes, their fashion, in their, their style, in their styling in... Ang dami kong sinasabi. <laughs> their styling in the lights music video. Um, it's not just thick and match. They had custom-made clothes. And each one represented a piece of Filipino culture. So, I'm actually really excited to react to this video, to this vlog, because as a creative as well, as someone who studied in the arts, I know that sometimes the hardest part in the design process is coming up with your concept. And that is what I am looking forward to finding out in this vlog. Grabe, ano ba yun? Nagle-lecture ako. Professor <laughs> 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 Kagal! <laughs> anyway, no. It's just, it's nice to find something you can relate to and something you have, ex not really expertise, but you have experience on. Because design concepts are not just like, hindi, hindi siya binobola. It's, Everything that you decide to do with what you're creating has to be rooted on that concept. So all your decisions have to be rooted to that concept. And they have five members. And I know that each of those had different concepts. So hindi yan madali. So okay, ayun. I just wanted to point that out. And I am so excited to see the the vlog I baka masyado kong itinataas yung expectations ko na parang inexplain talaga I don't know maybe so ha, without further ado guys let's dive into it hello BGYO hello BGYO I miss these boys cultural outfit Ang daming pinakilala. Wait. Who are these people? Wait. Okay. <laughs> no overwhelm ako. The way this Okay, let's see here. See they they all ha I I'm late. I I know I'm late. So I guess all of you probably know stuff about this now, but uh, <laughs> I haven't really like examined or really looked thoroughly at their um Load. I really hope they do these kinds of vlogs every comeback they have or every music video that they have because it's really interesting to see how these outfits came together. We need to share with you a lot of things uh -huh. in preparation for your upcoming debut to make sure that it creates the maximum impact. Maximum impact! And part of BGYO's brand Oh. BGYO's first ever year. We felt that it was important to give the boys the debut that they deserve. 
Uh oh. So we needed to support that with strong concepts, and this basically gave rise to the visuals and the feelings that we now see in the anime. That's that's the thing that that when you debut a group, it has to have that. That's what they said. The maximum impact for people to notice this group, for people to appreciate this group, the marketing, everything that goes behind debuting a group gets noticed. That's what I see in K-pop groups when they debut a group. From just ko grabe and dami nyan, and dami nyan. From teaser photos to teaser videos to concept photos to even some they some of them even have um content to release right before they debut. They have vlogs, so that's what they also did here with the Sha vlogs, so that people can get to know more about the trainees, about the, the members. Right before they debut, so it's nice to see that they actually have a marketing team, like a, a, a legit marketing team behind uh, behind BGYO. Name reveal. I'm zip. Pag may unboxing, may unzipping. Wow, so this is their first time to hear their new their group name. I did not know this. So dito pala. Congratulations, my ay, congratulations, boys. Aminin ko hindi ko pa memorize yung buong <laughs> Hindi ko memorize ang buong meaning ng BGYO. Ah. Big fan! Wow! Grabe! Pati yun! Yung hand gestures! Yung... yung tama ba? Ayun. Yung hand gestures, your introduction, part yan ng marketing, guys. So, like, grabe yung mga iniisip, iniisip talaga. Even group names. Sa, sa K-pop, I have no idea how they come up with names of their groups. Well, sometimes usually it's named after the company. Sometimes it's named after the show that they participated in to debut as a group. Or sometimes there are talaga mga random na. Ha, saan to na pulo? Saan yun to na kuha yung words na to na <laughs> pag dinikit niyo, boom. Pero hindi, mayroon talagang mga ibang groups na parang, ha? Ano yung name, ha? <laughs> Saan to napulot? Anyway. Wolfram. Creative direction. The importance of a signature look is to introduce BGYO with subtle Filipino symbolism to the Philippines and to the world. It is also important to bring in Filipino elements that has an international look. Mm. As a culture, well, this is my opinion. As a culture that has so much na nahalo, we have Spanish influences, we have American influences, we have right now like Korean influences, we have so many cultures that influence us that it's a good thing that they made the debut, the look of. BGYO's debut to have a concept that is truly Filipino. Well, dito ka dito kami na ano eh. <laughs> I am very careful with my words because the the truly Filipino is very subjective. Kasi nga, ang daming nag influence at in, in our history. So what does it really mean to be truly Filipino? Ayan na naman nag nag nagle-lecture na naman tayo. Anyway, <laughs> all I'm saying is to simplify things, it's nice that they used a concept that they used inspirations that are found here in the Philippines. Alam ko yung concept nila may name to eh. Balbalhari. Represent the Philippines. So we researched and we yes. found the Manila Manuscript. In where we found out that pre-colonial Filipinos used to wear robes made 
Ayang ganyan. guys, imagine niyo. Like imagine if we were still wearing that to this day. Like mga bakla. Guys. <laughs> How I would love to wear that, 'di ba? Like oh. Fashion, fashion, like we robe gajan and all. True. Ang galing na pinag-isipan talaga nila down to the styling, down to the outfits. Na they know this group will be recognized globally. It's a way of showing the Philippines, the Filipino culture to the world. That's just how K-pop also influences their culture on the world. Like when groups perform when groups have a new music video yeah their styling even their makeup influences so many people around the world and kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng mga korean fashion streetwear korean style makeup even korean skincare so ayun Hopefully, this could, well, not hopefully. They are right now. Actually, they really are representing the Philippines globally, and we see that from our international reactors. This heritage reimagined with Filipino soul and um, international appeal. The balabal has. Tingnan yon yung mga adjectives. Yan yung key. Yan yung key pag bumubuo ka ng design concept. That jan kami na hihirapan. <laughs> Jan talaga kami like nag sometimes we learn how to make bola <laughs> through those adjectives as in maghahanap talaga kami like just to make that that concept more visual so ayon design concept talaga it's a love and hate relationship for me pag design concept <laughs> pag you're creating a design concept na Jade Vine. Wait, let me see that again. Let's try to dissect. Ha? Tingnan natin yung powers of a design student. <laughs> okay, the Jade Vine. So, okay, first, of, first right off the bat is the shape, the form of the vine. These small thorns na translate nila into the, I don't know what you call that, part of the coat the, here and actually grabe ang simple nga lang ng ano eh ng sketch well sketch is supposed to be simple but you know quick sketch let's see let's hear more leading heart pigeon alam nyo guys <laughs> Dati nung grade school, pag nag-field trip kami ta- sa zoo dito, ito, ito talaga yung bleeding heart pigeon. Lagi ko na lang, parang ano na siya, famous, <laughs> famous ano, famous, shall we say, sight to see <laughs> sa pag nag-zoo kami doon, nung elementary. Let's see. The unique dove symbolizes us. For Jeto, the Mindanao Tiger Beetle. Because that beetle is known for its speed and agility. For me, the whale shark. For its gracefulness and stability in motion and movement. For Akira, the Palawan flower tiger. For its singing qualities. Damn! Can you imagine how difficult it must have been for them to pick out these uh, creatures, the creatures, these animals, <laughs> these plants? to tailor fit to the personalities and characteristics of these boys. And dami dami kaya in the whole country. And the diba? like research grab the research that goes into this. My comment ako ng gusto mong sabihin pero natatakot ako sabihin. I just feel like some some of the 
pieces mas na mas ma arte than the others like i really like i really like nate's and jealous um cultural outfits i also like kira's yung flower pet yung flower petals yung kay Mickey kasi it was just this yung yung may arte yung may ano yung may influence with the design concept i'm not saying it's ugly but yun lang na notice ko parang mas may detail yung iba kaysa sa others <laughs> Our heritage, that's how people don't know. And that's the relevance we wanted to create. I am Daniel Genesirin. Hi, Sir Daniel. Director of the director of You're not necessarily trying to get rid of their own sense of problems, but more of working. You're, yes. They are as that's actually really nice, no? Because usually, <laughs> I see this sometimes when, uh, when in K-pop groups, when people have fan signs. Like sometimes people ask them, do they have a say in what their hair color should be, what their hairstyle should be, what their makeup should look like? And sometimes they say like, oh, um, I just went into the hair salon and they did it like this. So, yun de ba? Sometimes I, I, like they don't really have a say, but it's got it's nice that they're tailoring the style to the characteristics and. To the person, to the member themselves, to the members themselves. And uh, most importantly, styling a group needs to have this sense of unity. So all the clothes mm. that we put on them, regardless of different brands that we use, they need to look cohesive. Part of one collection. Really, I specifically chose this project because I see them more than just a logo. They could actually be really good. They and they they really are right now. Oh my gosh. They're getting known globally. Visual okay. concept visual for this year. That portrays them as individuals and as youth. So the first thing in mind was streetwear, combining modern mm. with luxury fashion and incorporating something that's new. I really love this style. Like, ko hindi lang malinit sa pinas. <laughs> Pero. Uh, Start with acknowledging that these guys are very good looking to begin with. That each member has their own sense of character, sense of traits. That's also true. Oh, themselves. There may be a lot of things that were different. The importance of uh, filtering clothes is to select the ones that works for camera use. Once they have debuted, the, they also need to set a standard on how they look, what they wear, uh, whenever they are. Last time we were just afraid that they returned to the filter out for a moment so we didn't have to meet it. Today we have a chance to get a new set of clothes. Wow! So that's for each member. They have to look cohesive because of course they're a, they're a group. I did not know that. Like, I did not know. I thought they were just for the MV lang. Like, that's it. Or like for, for stages, for photo shoots. That's all. Like, they have set clothes planned but they actually I think Sir Daniel really went into their wardrobes and filtered out their clothes Akira is still doing his oh my gosh <laughs> Akira grabe Akira you're such an inspiration like how do you balance all of this grabe guys no oh I break you like sana all Like, umasok ka lang sa room tapos meron na dyang mga outfits ready for you that have been filtered to your, to your you know, personality. <laughs> I wanna experience that. Nate! Oh my god. Jello. Ito pala yung sinasabi nila Manai and Alfie. <laughs> yung makeup artist nila. <laughs> Hello po. <laughs> Hello po. <laughs> I'm really interested to hear about their makeup because I, I really like makeup as well. 
Hindi <laughs> ako maka-concentrate. <laughs> okay. No makeup, makeup look. I feel like that's really the trend now. Like, people are focusing so much more on the health of their skin so that they could wear less makeup. And since, yeah, hello, pandemic ngayon, we always wear masks. Concealer, like, all I do is, use, sometimes when I go out, all I put is, hindi na nga ako nagpa-foundation. Eh. Sayang nga yung foundation ko. <laughs> I still have. All I put is concealer. Some lit, some eyeshadow and powder. That's it. I actually want to learn how to do my eyes. That the, the, the eyeliner, yung subtle eyeliner lang. I really want to learn. Chisel talaga. <laughs> Yeah! So, oh, okay, so I guess he still had that hair when he when they performed in, I uh, know, I saw that kind of hair when they performed in ASAP. Um, Tala. <laughs> Nate's hair as in Bwagam. Gosh. We can't see your beautiful face. Wow! <gasps> pa ano naman skincare routine? Pasensya, Mrs. Morishita. Manay. Iba. Iba din. Iba din. Ah. Uh, for me this year naman, siya yung pinaka-minimal na ginawa ko ng makeover. Parang I, I, I just gave him a two-block uh, haircut. At the same time, I gave him a long-term treatment on the side. And came on the top. And I took advantage with his uh, curly hair. Kasi I mm. lost a fast one. Swag. Totoo. I remember that. I really, I really, <laughs> guys. One of my biggest insecurities is my hair because I don't have thick hair. So I really, really want to have that style. You, I can't even really style my hair because it's so thin. But anyway, we work with what we have. Um, there's, you know, so much more to. You than just your hair, so ha <laughs> Seeing them for the first time already noticing a dynamism, a diversity of not just a regular pool of talents, but of an idol team. Yes! That the dance, the team felt that, hey, you guys are gonna be something someday. Yes! Our leader. His soft spoken personality and his genuine. Super. To an idea on how he was brought up. And JL, JL, like this very laid back character. Just Toto. Like, you, like, I see these in their vlogs. These boys are just so. Oh, you just really want to be friends with them. And, like, ang bait nila. Sobra. Like, <laughs> Nikki uh, we, we get along a lot when it comes to styling because he's probably the fashion enthusiast. Ooh. I think he's actually the sweetest. Nady Boy being the youngest. Nady Boy! Terrible. It's your boy, Nate! <laughs> yeah! By the way, yeah, we did a live reaction on Manai's channel. The link to his channel is in the description box down below. So. We we had a live reaction and my bigla ang challenges. <laughs> Sana don yung it's your boy Nate. So if you wanna watch that, you go ahead to channel ni Manai. I love his curiosity, his innocence, and his he is. And I think 
think as a group, you know, they're, they're they work very, really well. They really do. Experience. I think they share some common traits that a lot of people also have. What's going to make them even more successful is their attitude. Mm. It's so, really that. Even I'm sorry. I I just keep comparing them to K-pop because that's what I've been watching for the past years. Like I've been a K-pop fan for the past how many years, and their idol groups. So it is really the mindset and the attitude. If you have meh, you you lose your way really quickly. Um, so yeah, they, you lose your motivation. You lose like your mindset of why you want to be there why you're doing this madaming groups actually na dumaan dyan so heh but I'm really happy for VGYO a big future for them and their careers I think uh, this is not your ordinary group and I think what we have this is not your ordinary group a group that is premium visually They are. Gusto pa, gusto, I wanna. Gusto ko kung yung premium. Authentic din sila. Like, what you see in the vlogs. What you see on camera. Behind the scenes, ganun din sila. So, like. Oh, that's what we want. That's what we want to see. And that's what we want to have. The genuineness and authenticity of a person. Kahit na you're in an industry where you really have to sometimes be someone else or, you know, act like someone else. It depends on the concept. Yan naman tayo. The concept of the music, of the music video. So, ayon. It's part of the talent. Yes! Oh my gosh, guys! That's oh my god! That's the dream for this group. That's really a big, big, huge step. Kahit na didistract ako sa akin sa ilaw. <laughs> kahit ano? Kahit K-pop groups. That's a huge, 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 huge achievement if they get to perform in like Tokyo Dome or uh, ano yung sa Korea? Kalimutan ko yung stadium. Hope. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh, For me, naman, BGYO is love for their craft, for the people around them, and for the love for their country will elevate the Filipino art and talent to be loved by the whole world in the future. Ang galing, no, guys? First of all, so yon, the concept of their style, balabalhari came from the pre-colonial Filipinos who used used who used to wear robes and ang galing how they so like as i see it yan yung inspiration no yan yung concept and they drew inspiration from yung Filipino plants and the animals flora and fauna tama ba <laughs> flora and fauna so Ang galing how they meshed it, how they gelled it together to create these styles. That's why you need a marketing and branding team. So, para effective yung ano nyo, yung outfits and yung marketing in general. Para it's part of the ano eh, it's part of the success of the era. So we have to give recognition to the the marketing and the styling teams. It so much goes into making their style. Imagine in yung research and you know like the the decisions that had to be made para lang maka buo ng ng fashion style for each member. Like they had to pick out among the thousands and thousands of plants and animals here in the Philippines. So, and na ano pa nila, na incorporate nila with the personality of each member. Ang galing ng explanations. Kaya, 
Saludo ako. <laughs> Agabi talaga. Tas I'm fawning over it because in design, in the design work, in the design field, yung concept hindi talaga siya madali isipin. Hindi siya madali bu- ibuo. Cause, ayun niya, I keep, I just keep repeating myself. Nagle-lecture na naman ako! I, <laughs> like I said, every decision in the design that they make is rooted on that concept. So, mauuna talaga yung concept na yan. Pag wala ka pang concept, hindi pwede na you jump to your your design already. So, ayun. It's your basis. It's your guide. What else? I'm just... <laughs> ang galing! So, the end credits. End credits? The ending remarks. Ending remarks? Ano ba? Yung dulo. The, the, the end part. Um, tama yung mga sinasabi nila. We see it right now. As I am late in uploading this. We see it right now. Like... They're having a global influence on. They're making a mark in the global market. Kami yung mga words ko global market. Anyway, yeah, we see it sa mga international fans natin, sa international reactors on social media. So many people are loving them. So many people are supporting them. Well, yung haters nandyan lang talaga yan. That will not go away. Pero hell, yeah, like. Mas madami tayong supporters, mas madami tayong mura, mas madami tayong family. <laughs> Galing 'yan sa ano namin, live reaction. Panoorin niyo 'yon, guys, sa channel ni Manay. Yeah, I really hope na this will continue. I really hope that they can perform once everything is okay. Na they could per- perform. They could perform on on stages in other countries. We really want them to be recognized globally because their talent deserves global attention and they deserve to perform in bigger stages kahit sa groups in Korea if they get to perform in stadiums in yung mga, yung mga arena that's a huge step for them like that's a big recognition kasi it's part of their legacy it's part of their the success that they have kasi if masol if masell out mo yan imagine that's like thousands and thousands of people so that's the oh that's the dream actually so anyway i really think they will naman i i, I believe that they have the talent and skill. Hindi na ako makasalita. Ang dami kong sinasabi. <laughs> But anyway, yeah. It was a really nice vlog. It was nice to know the behind the scenes and the, the process and the minds that are behind the marketing and the styling of these boys. So, ayun. Hopefully, patuloy natin masupport ang BGYO. And yeah. I guess that's all for this video. Ang haba-haba na actually ng video. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content on this channel, I'll be reacting to more um, I'll be reacting to more BGYO content. Leave comments down below, guys. Mag-usap tayo. I really try to uh, read your comments and reply to them. Thank you so much for the support and love, guys. Like, ilang weeks naka-upload na yung first ever BGYO video ko, which is the getting to know them. And weeks later, after how many weeks, months, meron pa rin nagko-comment and nagnonood. So, like, nakaka-touch act. Like, you know, like, pinaghirapan mo yan. Like, it's not easy to edit these and film na you have you know <laughs> ano ba yan napapa ano ako napapa open up anyway I'm just happy hey, thank you guys for watching I will see you guys in the next one take care and stay safe everyone bye